Welcome to Living Room Requests. Matt here has no voice, so it's going to be very unaccustomed. We managed to cover this well for the uh, Halloween special. If you've not seen the Halloween special, do check it out. <laughs> Matt's going to go and get his guitar while I tell you that this is a piece of music requested by John. It is a very lesser known Ivor Novello piece and it is from Glamorous Night and Christopher Hassel did the words and we have to thank the Novello Society for this because it is it's you can see I don't think it was ever published this is and um, also Tom Carradine who got it for us from there. Every day in every way what tricks your luck will play one day you're down and out the next you're saving since i took to enterprise i've had a big surprise i find my future lies in misbehaving i sit before my mirror and stare a girl i knew If you blame me 
That's wonderful. I, ju I just love those, that sort of song. It's She's simultaneously bragging and also, you know, a bit philosophical about how she's changed. Um, thank you so much. I That was sung by Elizabeth Welch and she is a legend. I actually wrote an article about her in Chap Magazine. Um, and she, yeah, look her up. Elizabeth Welch, Elizabeth Welch, legend, amazing. Now, contrasts. <laughs> We, this is a very contrast that they're all contrasting because you guys are so incredibly, I mean, not just, uh, I keep saying this, but it's, it's true. It's true. Not just between yourselves, but within yourselves, you know, one person will request so many different things. And it's absolutely marvelous. We really appreciate the trust you give us. Now this is for Jeff and Andy and they've asked for Michael, Sir Michael Tippett. Um, was well, so Ivan Novello a sir as well? He should have been. Sir Ivan Novello. No. Should have been. Anyway, maybe he said no. A lot of people do, you know. They're like, no. Um, this is called Music. I pant for the music, which is divine. Um, words by Shelley. And yeah, it's not written for the guitar at all. But Matt never lets that phase him, no matter how complicated the music.
there you have it. I mean, if you think that's not pretty as music, it's because of the words. I pant for the music which is divine. In other words, she hasn't got it. So all she can think of is dissonance. That's my belief anyway. Um, there we go. Thank you, Jeff and Andy, for entrusting us with such music. Now, he's strapping on something with a shoelace. Now this... So apologies to um, any Tippet fans who go, wait a minute, that shouldn't be a guitar and that shouldn't be a one singer, it should be a choir. Um, <laughs> and apologies to Alice in Chain fans, Alice in Chains fans. Um, I come from near Seattle, well, Vancouver. And so I do remember um, people being very, very passionate about these guys and they still are. And covers of this one tend to get really, really um, a lot of hate. So apologies. I mean, I we didn't think I didn't think I could do Alice in Chains. Um, 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 gosh, it's called what's it called? It's called it's called ah I forget what it's called. Oh, that's terrible. No, there's no cover to it. Okay, I'm shown up, but no, I do know, I do know what it is. I do, anyway, this piece of music, it's it's really quite heartfelt and I do apologize. But it, you know, one thing, it's been requested by Gerald. So Gerald, thank you so much for your trust in me. Apologies to you guys, um, any Alice in Chains fans. I mean, you know, put a thumbs down if you hate it. You'll never have heard it on, at least on a mandolin. That That's something new, you know, operatic version. And thanks to Gerald, Gerald and to Liz and to Jeff and Andy and to John so much. And you never know, he might have his voice back next time. 